Hello, everyone. I was going to get Thomas to write these words to go at the start of the book, but all the engines said I must do it. So here we are. One thing we all agree about is that every one should be told how to use the railway safely. Railways can be dangerous places if they're not used properly. So we hope that this book will show you what some of the dangers are. We want to help stop you from being one of the many children who are killed or hurt each year on the railways as a result of misbehaviour or ignorance. So, read it carefully and use the railway safely. Happy travelling the fat controller. New paints for Annie and Clarabelle. Workmen were repainting the station and Annie and Clarabelle thought it looked very smart. You haven't got any paint spare, have you? Asked Annie. It seems ages since ours was new. <laughs> this pink colour wouldn't be any good. The painter laughed. You want brown, wouldn't you? At last the station was finished and the painters went away. That night there were some visitors. They climbed over the railway fence, ignoring the warning sign, crossed the railway and came to the station. The next day the fat controller arrived to find red wavy lines sprayed on the seats and a large question mark on the waiting room door. He immediately sent for policeman Len, who said to everybody, Please keep your eyes open and let me know if you find anything about this. That night Annie and Clarabel were alone in their shed. Annie wakened suddenly when she heard a footstep, then a hissing noise and a, felt a coolness on her side. Still half asleep, she wondered if the men had come to repaint her at last. What's happening? demanded Clarabelle loudly as she felt a cool on one side too. Then they heard quick footsteps, a sliding door, a shout and a thud. The lights went on. Stay where you are, said Policeman Len, holding one boy. There, sitting uncomfortably on the floor, was another boy about ten years old. He said, I can't move. I think I've broken my ankle. Policeman Len looked at the boy's foot. Partly sprained, he said. Perhaps he'll teach you a lesson. What you were doing was not only against the law, but proved very dangerous and painful too, said Policeman Len. Let's get you home so I can speak to your parents about this. Annie and Clarabelle felt shy about the large patches of bright red paint on their sides, especially when they met the fat controller. Never mind, the fat controller said. I have given orders for you, for you to be repainted properly, and policemen then will make sure it doesn't happen again. The fat controller kept his promise to have Annie and Clarabelle repainted. They were very happy when they set off from the station with their shiny new coats of paint. The station master said, I think you both look very smart.